Hi guys, welcome to the channel and to the energy update for my friends Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn. So let's take a look at the energies of the person on your mind, how you see them, the Sun, Queen of Cups, Two of Wands and the Tower. So quite a combination of energies. You may see this person as an extremely open human being, the Sun and the Queen of Cups, someone that has found a way to be gentle and kind towards you, but also someone that may have already made the decision to let go of the connection if we follow the tower because they may not be ready or interested in the opportunity to embrace an official partnership with you. This person can have commitment issues guys if we follow the other energies that we got on the table so Coffee cup, oracle card, meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted, friendship. They are meaningful keywords because they can describe a lovely connection that some of you ignited with a special person in your life. I am not sure that this person is focused on the opportunity to build for the future in the romantic arena at the moment. And chances are some of you already got this type of consideration from this person because they may have found a way to let you guys know about that. So I want to go for the tower because it's a major energy, it's a powerful shift, so things are going to be different moving forward. And I also have to say that this person, this connection can almost drive you guys crazy like the song She Drives Me Crazy Fine Young Cannibals Let's see, Tower Six of Wands They want to do what they want to do Four of Wands Recurrent energy, not interested, also because of the Four of Cups. They can hold back, guys. We can think about fears of commitment of some sort, or I just want to add another nuance. This person may have been married, it didn't work, it was a disaster for them. Now they do not want to touch the topic, even uh, from a distance, you know? Look, look, Eight of Swords. The mere idea about the opportunity to tie the knot, allow me to say, can paralyze them. So there are unresolved issues when it comes to the emotional side of this person. Maybe it was not entirely their fault, but here we are. So guys, they want to pursue the situations that can make them happy and fulfilled, yes. When it comes to the Four of Wands, Eight of Swords. And this can be their decision, the Two of Wands. And you can be well aware of that. Their intentions, can they be a good match? Chariot, Four of Wands, Four of Cups, Page of Pentacles. They can say, I am sorry, but if we think about future success, the Chariot, when it comes to romantic relationships, the Four of Wands, I am not that interested at this point of the journey, Four of Cups. Unavailable, out of reach, a little bit distant. And the divine offer can be, let's say, the opportunity for some of you to let this person know that you would be available to build something real together with them. They can have genuine feelings and emotions towards you guys, but, you know, if we think about a friendly connection, all good. Something more, uh, not so much, you know? So let me see the Four of Cups. I want to investigate somehow, some way, the Three of Cups influence when it comes to the past. Because the past of this person can hold them back. Here we go. Knight of Cups, this can be the offer that 
they can receive from you, but the one that they are not able, willing, or available to reciprocate properly, guys. Six of Cups. My favorite card in the deck. Guys, this person can consider the connection with you in a genuine way. Commitment may be the issue for them. Queen of Wands, they like you. If there was something more between the two of you, they enjoyed it. This can even be a friend, guys, for some of you, because of the Six of Cups energy. Roots in the past. It seems difficult, you know, because this person, especially if they are middle-aged, a middle-aged individual, and they got married young, it didn't work. Now they can think about a whole different situation for them. They would love to have a partner, yes, but when it comes to commitment, they can settle for a page of Pentacles energy because they can be happy with that chariot. For others view, this can even be a long distance relationship. And the fact that you can be in two different cities from the perspective of this person can be an obstacle because maybe they are not willing to, to make changes. So guys, challenge for this connection, the devil, the nine of cups, the strength card and the magician. The challenge for this connection is about the opportunity to take action in order to allow a situation to develop in a way that can be satisfying and respectful for the two people involved. And the problem comes down to the devil energy, which is a cycle. It can be a cycle of lust. And so someone can be self-indulgent when it comes to the opportunity to share intimate moments with a person of interest. But when it comes to commitment, let's avoid the topic The mindset can compromise the connection because the person that may desire to achieve something more can feel disrespected. And the energies that we got in the advice position for you are kind of meaningful about that, especially because of the Five of Swords, which is an ego-driven energy. Let me see the devil, guys because this is a cycle about excesses and so either the passionate side of the connection has taken over you know and so it is too prominent or your person may be hostage of past fears that now can make them think that the idea that they have about romantic connections is the best possible one for them. And that's why they hold back when it comes to the opportunity to be completely vulnerable with a partner. If you resonate with the scenario to you, I would say that it can be difficult, if not impossible, to force this person to change their mind. They can do that if and only if they want to. Devil, Hermit, which is positive, but it's an energy about singlehood for me. Five of Wands, their heart is conflicted when it comes to the opportunity to allow, let's say a new romantic connection to take multiple steps forward, guys. This can be quite a bachelor or a bachelorette. They may like you, they can be friend to you, but, you know, they may enjoy the sexual side of a connection with you, but commitment, I have to say, commitment is not an option for them. And you have to acknowledge that if you resonate with the scenario. So what's the advice for you from the Tarot? Nine of Swords, Two of Swords, Five of Swords. We have a crossroads, and some of you will have to face it. You have to go within, 
there can be fears, the moon in the background, fears for your person, for the reasons that we have discussed so far, fears for you because you may think that the connection can fade away. If we think about a romantic one, an official romantic connection, yes, it can fade away because the other person may not be available. That's why the Nine of Swords can be about anxiety. She drives me crazy or he drives me crazy. The Five of Swords, guys, this is the problem. This is the problem because some of you may embrace the role of the people in the Five, so the man or the woman in green and red can be left behind. And uh, this would be a pity in a scenario like this one if we think about uh, a lovely human being, maybe a friend that can consider the connection important, but without being available to transform it into a romantic partnership. So let me see the two of swords energy. Here we go. Nine of swords again. Guys, do not fall for the energy. It's a self-inflicted torture. If you want to make healthy choices in love and in life, your mind has to be an ally, not an enemy. And another thing, do not allow this person to dictate how your mind should work. If you do not like what they are offering you, say it and then act accordingly. If you have to move on, move on. I get it that it can be difficult because some of you can say, well, thank you, but the connection for me is important. I would love for it to become a reality. I get it. I get it. But we have to work with what another person can offer us, you know, in a particular situation. The word. Guys, this can be the choice. This can be the decision. If nothing is going to happen between the two of us when it comes to a real partnership, I have to free myself from a devilish cycle. Otherwise, I can run the risk to miss other opportunities that can be extremely beneficial in order for me to amplify my inner happiness. You know, this can be an important person, guys. But if they want something different, what are you going to do? Are you going to settle? Are you going to give up your legitimate expectations in order to basically allow this person to fulfill theirs? Be careful because you may be okay with the deal in the first place, but it's a long road, you know, the life journey and things can change and regrets and resentment can be just around the corner because the decision that decision, the one to settle, didn't come from your heart. You get it? I hope so. My friends, I hope that I made myself clear as well. And this was helpful somehow, some way. If you want to comment, like, and subscribe, it will help our channel to grow. So thank you. And until next time, I wish you all the best. Take very good care of you. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.